Hello, my name is Yanni. I'm the pastor of the church here in Calvary Chapel, Beggar. Yeah, Zach asked me to say a few words about our church, about our ministries. And our church was planted in 2005. We are here in Agar, uh, downtown, in the heart of the city, we can say. Uh, our church is doing several ministries here. We are helping the poor with clothing donations. It's actually a really blessed uh, thing to do because we were able to bless almost 2,000 people. We were just giving out a lot of packages for poor families who are living on the edge of society and they have a lot of kids so we were able to help them to survive the winter and you know to give clothes to their kids it's a really big blessing to see how happy they are that they get some yeah, donations from us and we are also have a ministry in Havash it's a gypsy ministry we started that almost four years ago it's a really blessed thing it's a lot of joy and happiness there <laughs> Uh, gypsy culture is completely different from the Hungarian culture. They are really poor people. They are really, I can say, rejected in this society. And it's good that we can reach out to them. And yeah, we go out there every week. We have several families, a lot of kids there. And we are teaching God's word, sharing the gospel with them and making disciples, as the Bible says. We also have the English camp. Every summer, it was the 10th camp in this year. It's more than 120 kids every year uh, we can serve and we can reach out to. We have American teams coming and people from the Calvary Chapel Bible School and we serve together and we have the great opportunity here to share the gospel with them. These kids are coming from a non-believer background. They are teenagers and they are really searching for the meaning of their lives and it's really good when we can talk to them about the love of Christ, the gospel and, and the grace of God. So I think it's it's a really good thing to do and if God helps we'll do it next year too. So I'm at Zach in English camp this year in July. Then we've been hanging out for a while. Um, he has some discipling to do with Lutza and Bolesh and these kids. I've been helping him sometimes to translate and just keep in touch with the Hungarian kids. Um, he's been doing a great job. I think he's good at showing people that Jesus loves them. He's good at showing people that they can do anything and, and he's good at that. Um, he has been to our house a couple of times, praying nights. We've been doing, doing worship together. He's an encouragement for me and everybody else that I know. And just keep on, keep on doing this, Zach. Good job. My name is Lindsay. I am one of three American missionaries here in Eger. And I say that because uh, when I first was praying about coming here, I, I was hesitant because there was already an American missionary here. And, but then the Lord led me here anyways. And now the Lord has led Zach here. And I want you to know that he adds something different to the team that was missing. And it really is... A benefit and a blessing for us to have him here. While we enjoy his eccentricities, <laughs> we also enjoy the gifts that he has, that uh, God has given him a heart for evangelism and a heart for the young people here. Also a, a gift of leadership. And so as one of the five members of the leadership team here, he really adds a lot in that area. We're different in different ways and together the Lord is using us to uh, do some amazing things here and I really appreciate what Zach brings to our leadership meetings uh, for the church as a whole and to the heart of evangelism and how the Lord is using him in that way. So it's been a blessing to have him here even though he is the third American missionary here the Lord is really doing great things through him. Uh, we all have different gifts and so we really appreciate what he does. Also um, he has skills that have really benefited the church with his technology and videos and different things like that. He's really helping us to share and get things out there so people know what's going on in the ministry here. And in that way, he's been a huge blessing. Uh, so yeah, we've really enjoyed having him here. We hope and look forward to having him here much longer. And uh, we just want to thank you for supporting him and making it possible for him to serve here with us.